Hey, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. We just seen Big Moochie. Great new music video, man. I'm gonna break the whole thing down for you guys. It's got a lot of stuff inside of the video. A lot of footage. It has Dolph inside there for the halfway point through the video. He's got Dolph walking with him through some trenches in New York. They went to New York. The name of the song is called Christopher Wallace by Big Moochie Great. And basically, it's a sign that's telling you they did Dolph like how they did, you know, Biggie Small. So, like, that's the crazy thing ever, man. You got to understand the signs that he's he's trying to show in that. And the fact that he used Dolph in the video and dropped the video now is because that's basically he was trying to flex having Dolph uh, on the side back then so he could use him in as many music videos as he can to get more clout um, because he knew that. That was going to be the only way that people are going to keep watching and listening to his music is that if he had somebody, a big superstar that was on there and because the only superstar he really knew or could get close to was Dolph. And so he tried to take advantage of that situation early on and played it as if he was still on Dolph's side. But this entire time he would have been plotting at that moment because this video that he released was shot approximately about two months, maybe a month before the whole Dolph situation. If you look at the video, it's a it's like a cloudy, uh, cold looking day in New York. He's got on a sweater and, and it's like Kooji, just like what Biggie would wear. And you know the whole thing with P. Diddy and everything about um, B.I.G. And, and so it's the same kind of thing where they, they set him up. And so that's why they even did that video and he named the song that song and everything like that. And the fact that they're going through New York and Dolph doesn't have a line in it, but he uses him in the video. He doesn't shout out Dolph or he doesn't say anything about Dolph. But the specific lyrics that he's talking about when he first shows Dolph, he says something about um, you're not going to slide. The hitters won't hit something like that. And so basically it was him basically saying like a lot of uh, subliminally just trying to diss him. And that's why he didn't release the video until now. He couldn't release it back then because he was saving it because he knew he was going to be a part of the whole Dolph hit. And that's a lot of crazy stuff, man. It's a big connection. Like, people don't just release music videos with guys that pass for no reason. And when he's the one that's basically in the headlines right now about being involved with it, like, I don't know if he's trying to, like... Uh, put salt in the womb on everybody or what but like to him for him to post it and not do a a memorial message at the end for him not to include a line saying he rocks with Dolph or anything but he has the PRE chain on and that PRE chain that he has is gonna get taken just like his last one was taken and see this time he doesn't have uh Dolph to uh try to get it back for him he doesn't have anybody that could talk um, like Jay Prince when he got back YBN Almighty J's chain. And you got to understand the fact that this dude, Big Moochie Grape, is still trying to cloud off of the whole Duff like um, image on his on his videos. Like you got to understand nobody really listens to Big Moochie Grape. It was my first time listening to his video or any of his music. He I'll give him like a six out of ten. He, he has a lot of work to do. I can understand why they didn't want to give him an advance. But you got to realize, man, this dude snaked his own people, man. He snaked them. He basically is the definition because of the fact that he was with Dolph under his wing. Dolph was even comfortable enough to take him to New York. Who do you think paid for that New York trip? Exactly. And so even if Big Moochie Grape paid for it, where do you think his money came from? Exactly. That All that revolves around Dolph was basically... The reason why he still was able to survive in his hood, like if it wasn't for Dolph giving him that first sign, that first deal and giving him that Lambo, Big Moochie Grape would have already got taken out a long time ago by OG Bang Wang. And when OG Bang Wang gets out, he's going to be looking for Big Moochie Grape. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind that Big Moochie Grape has ops and OG Bangwain will probably come out and try to expose him and let him know that like, oh yeah, you, you don't have any, you know, like that big Moochie Grape never did anything to his real ops, the people that he that took his chain. 
but he went and tried to do something to his own boss that was feeding him and his family. So you can't bite the hand that feeds you. That's one big lesson we got to learn from all of this. And the second thing is, is that Big Moochie Grape don't have no PRE other artists in that music video. So it's like at that time, man, it's not like any of the, it, like Dolph was mentoring him, giving him special attention, trying to basically get something in line for him, trying to make him work hard to earn his next advance. It's not Dolph's fault that Moochie Grape got stained and got a lick hit on him. He got poked by OG Bangwain. And when OG Bangwain poked him, he took his money too. Not just the chains, he took his money too. So Big Moochie Grape got a lot of motive for him to be involved based around the fact that he fumbled the bag, fumbled the chains, and they were nice enough to give him another chain, but they said, we're not going to give you any more money. You have to earn it. You have to go do this video in New York. You have to go do this trip. Da, 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 da. He said, well, I need, you know, Dolph, can you come with me, please? And so Dolph went with him. And then when they got back, you know, they did another, uh, basically another show or another video down in, I believe it was Atlanta. And that's when the story of how Big Moochie Grape said he was with Dolph and they both flew back. And that's when Dolph stayed at the at that place he stayed at, uh, at the hotel in Memphis, that one like type of, um, it, it's like a crafty hotel, more old fashioned and whatnot. And but still very bougie and luxurious. Uh, when he stayed there, he flew into Memphis and da da da. And Big Moochie Great purposely missed one of the flights or left later so that Dolph would already be involved in a couple of situations of the um, going to the clinic and this and that. Like they were preparing all that so that Big Moochie Great could say that he was somewhere else while all that was happening. And that. Basically, those events led to eventually his keys getting taken at that clinic. And then he asked for or somebody offered him a ride because of the fact that they took his keys. See, this was planned. They already had a person there to drive. That's when these cars come in, these other cars that they never mentioned to you and that we had to uncover. Um, one of them is the Bentley, but there's more. The ones at the gas station. The other money bag, yo, uh, white uh, Corvette, and you know a couple others that we're going to uh, touch on and identify soon in the next video. So I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, share it, um, and go ahead and stay tuned so you can watch that next video to uncover way more details that that are about to come out. So yep.